So today I am cutting my A5 inserts and I'm also cutting my A6 inserts. Um, I also have some vellum in here. I think I should cut that separately from the regular white paper. But maybe not because sometimes when I'm cutting it tends to want to slip. So I actually might use a different cutter for the vellum. So I will cut the A5 first and let me take the vellum sheets out. I think that's all of the vellum sheets for my A5. Yes. need to cut all of the light paper. So I have a couple of these that I want to cut. The boys are watching TV if you hear that in the background. How many sheets is this one? Three, three sheets. I think my little fountain needs some water, so let me grab some water. So this is one A five, and I'm happy that I found most. Most of my inserts for free and I'm gonna have to do like a, a video on that and I hope you all enjoy it because yeah I think it'll be a good video and it'll, it's also it's also helpful if um, someone is not able to, you know, purchase inserts, but they still want to organize their life. I like that some shops, they offer, you know, their freebies, and then some shops, they have both. They have freebies, and they have a, a physical digital shop. Perfect. It's actually raining today, so I'm thinking we're gonna have some. Cold weather tomorrow, which that's always fun. exactly how these are going to go in here. I actually have to print like another Monday and another Friday ending to make that right. But for now, that's okay. There's, this is a big stack of expenses trackers. Um, try to keep it at like four sheets. I know I can do way more, but I don't want it to get messed up or anything. Not too far off, but it does go off a little bit, and that's, that's what I don't like when I'm cutting with this cutter. Sometimes it does 
Are you all ready for um, 2024? Like, are you ready for 2024? What are your goals going to be for 2024? I don't see many people, or at least I don't remember. I don't remember people doing like New Year's resolutions. I don't see that anymore. Like, has that just gone out the window now like are we still doing new year's resolutions are we still eating our black eyed peas and washing and drying our clothes like all of those things are those still happening that I don't see that anymore Let's see. this is a lighter paper but it just has the home inventory on it especially with us moving getting new things one being the new fridge we definitely need to write down what we do and don't have and also write down serial numbers when we purchase something that way if something does fail if it stops working we have all of the information to be able to do the return and you know, we have all of the information in one spot. All of the information in one spot. Um, and yeah, I think this is really good. A really good insert. And I, I will tell you all where all of the inserts are from in my next video, in my setup video. This video, I just wanted to some stickers not stickers cut some paper for you guys because I love when I cut paper and the sound oh my goodness the sound of the of me cutting the paper is like oddly satisfying right so for these cut lines, I like to add a line all the way almost because the way these lines are, you're going to cut the other line off. So I prefer the ones that are, I'll show you which ones I like, the cut lines or the crop lines that I like I just it's the ones that I just cut it's basically like an X so that if you cut one side you don't cut the other side because if I cut this I'm not gonna have a crop mark to cut the other side so I've already cut the other ones but here's another example if I let me put some paper behind this. Then you can see what I'm talking about. So, if I cut this line, it's going to cut off this line. And then you cut here, it's going to cut off that line. And now you have one more left, and you're going to be having to like eyeball it at the top. I don't know, it's weird. I don't know if, maybe I'm not cutting them off right. Let me try to cut it like around and see what happens then. 
A lot of my inserts for this year, I printed them on a five size for the first time and it was pretty cool. I'm scared to cut this without my crop, without the line. Let me add a line just in case. But we will test it out and go all the way around. But you see how like there's extra line here on the paper that I'm using to line it up. Okay, let's let's do it. Let's see what it, let's see what happens if we cut in like a square instead of one and one one side and one side okay now we're going to do this side i guess i would be using this guide over here And we go this way. And then we're left with no guide here. So we would have to eyeball it, right? But that's why I add like the line so I know where to go. actually a really pretty day I wish my window wasn't so fogged up but it is turning on my <laughs> my mister with my rain noise sound maker and I just love it so much all right so on to the next ones and I don't know let's see so I'm not exactly sure if I print this right possibly it's a week on two pages and there are no cut marks on here so instead of messing up, which I think I just need to cut one line. Let's see. Let me actually get an A5 paper that's already printed and that has the holes punched. This sheet of paper is going to tell me everything that I need to know right now. So, because the holes are on this side, I'm going to measure the side with the um, larger space and put it corner to corner. So, yeah, we'll have to cut some off of the top. And that should be it. Just a little bit off of the top and we should be fine like the top and the bottom or I can just go all the way to the top and just cut a line at the bottom and then of course your middle line hopefully I'm making sense and then I'll show you well and there was an option to um, get the cut lines but I had already printed these too late so let me cut the bottom if 
if I mess up. I'm gonna be so sad. Let me go up just a hair. Everything is flush. gonna go on this side so I'm thinking I just need to cut all the way here We're just gonna do it. So I'm thinking I need to cut maybe in the middle. I should cut these in the middle because they're gonna be like all uneven. Fingers crossed that that is cut right. I feel like it's right. It might be a little off, but yeah, it's a little off. But I'm still going to use it. I'm not crazy about that little piece. And some inserts are just going to be different. Okay, so that is that. And then... The last one is, I'm just going to cut this one because it's the last one. My holidays, my holidays and my my year at a glance. I did a Monday start and a Sunday start. So one on one side and one on the other side. There was trial and error, but we were okay. So let's just cut this one and we'll go from there. Let me know what you all think of this kind of video. Do you all like videos like this, like where I'm just talking about, of course, the inserts that I'm cutting, but also like asking you questions like, what are you going to do? Like, what's your 20? Are you happy that 2023 is done and that 2024 is starting? Like, are you are you ready for that? Are you happy that um, it's gone, it's done? Or do you wish that you can do 2024 again? Like I want to interact with you guys and I want to see your comments. I want to see, you know, what you all think. I always have someone comment on every video and like every video and that means the world to me and I always tell her that that makes my day. It really does. I don't think I cut this one right, but that's where the cut lines were. So maybe I did cut it right. I guess we'll see when I hole punch it. Yeah, when I see comments that, you know, you're asking me questions or you're responding to something that I asked, I like, I love that. And then, um, 
when somebody comes back and like they help me with something like if I actually you know what something is called like a lot of you all came back and you know told me what the movie film was called and I appreciate that so much um it's something small but it's something so big like people don't understand like not saying you guys are ignoring me or anything but there's like some people i don't know if they don't know that it's rude or maybe they don't care maybe they don't care that it's rude but they will intentionally or unintentionally not respond to you like i've had people even shops like i've asked shops for something or you know said something to someone with which needed a response and for me to be able to see that you read the message and didn't respond that hurts my feelings so bad but and then i like i have to realize like everybody's not the same um maybe they didn't think it was rude um maybe they thought that my message did not dignify a response but my messages clearly needed a response you know i'm not asking questions or asking stupid questions and you know just to play around or to mess around you know I'm asking a genuine question that I would love the answer to but oh I said I wasn't gonna cut my vellum with this because I can't show you an example right now I'll show you an example another time but um oh in this paper this paper is not gonna go to waste i'm going to put it in my guinea pigs cage because i have to do her a new um setup in her cage Yeah, I have to do a new setup for her in her cage and she will use not all of the paper but some of the paper she will use and then I'll put the rest of it in a bag so that oh no I gotta cut the other side so let me put my markings on the long side yeah so I wanted to do her like a Christmas setup in her cage but um my husband is going to build her something that she can run around and play in again. When we moved, we got rid of her um, C and C cage. I think that's what it's called. It was a cage that I got off of Amazon. It was like snapped together. And yeah, when we moved, we got rid of it because it was worn. Because we used to have six guinea pigs and I unfortunately had to give some of them away and then two of them passed away. And it's really sad like when I lose a, a, a pet, like, especially like a small animal small defenseless animal it makes me so sad um so yeah i want her to live out her days in a bigger cage and she really likes being by herself she's really like a little doggy like she she just wants to honestly be by herself when she's with other guinea pigs she's always um chattering her teeth and mad and it's not like a dominance thing like you know I know about guinea pigs like they'll show their um their dom their dominance you know when they're first 
introduced to a new um, set of pigs, but she would do it all the time for months and months and months. And, you know, when you're taking in animals from like a humane society, they were once the, the dominant one. I could never... Okay, that's it for that. I'm not going to cut it anymore. Um, once you, like when you get animals from the Humane Society, they were once, you know, the dominant one. And sometimes that dominant one does not want to let go of their dominance. So, I guess that was her. So, we just let her be by herself. And she was better for it being by herself so I cannot wait to show you all where I got all of my goodies from can't wait to tell you but like I wrote down like a list of all of the inserts that I needed and I went from there now I need to cut my A6 taking the vellum out need to get me another paper holder okay let me show you this one this is those are the crop lines that I like because you're always gonna be missing one so yeah All right. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one first let's see and this one my catch-all my A six rings is going to be uh, one of them will be my catch-all planner and I'm trying to decide if I want to do the other one as just a decorative planner or if I'm going to want to do it as a self-care planner I was going to use my one two Four, five. I was going to use my my passport another passport for my self care um but instead, instead, I might use my A6 notebook from Sterling Ink. And I just made the cutest little crochet pouches for. For the A6 notebook and I did not claim those I'm going to make um, my own you all know that I love pink and I love mauve so I got my own like color combo that I want to do so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do another crochet uh, planner pouch And I'm going to do a crochet mat for my desk. I've heard a lot of people say like that the the sound of the notebook sliding on the desk kind of makes them cringe. And that does happen to me when I'm planning in my memory planner. Because there's metal on the back of it. But like for my Aura Stell, 
and my Moterm and my Passport or sale. They all have, you know, the leather cover on them. So I don't need I don't need one for I don't need one for um water tracker, water tracker, water tracker, contacts. Contacts. Water tracker. Cleaning schedule. Cleaning schedule. Water tracker. Password. And I kind of forgot what I said. Let me go grab baby girl. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this one separately because the other um, papers that I have, like this one, is a double. And then this one is like one um, insert and then another insert. So if I was to cut it, of course it would cut these. So we'll do those. We'll do this one separately. I just love a day like this. Just like doing my planner stuff. The boys are okay. Baby girl is okay. Like they're in their own spaces and they're giving me my space that I need um I forgot what I was saying earlier oh yes my husband is going to make a cage for the guinea pig so that she can run around and play I think I fin I think I did finish saying that but yeah, I like I like days like this. Everybody's in their own space. Baby boy, he keeps asking to jump on the trampoline, which that's um that was one of their Christmas gifts. They got it early because um we'd had help setting it up. So we wanted to go ahead and you know get the help that was offered to us before the help was gone so it's up and they've been jumping on it baby girl has jumped on it too and they love it so much I had to go outside and show him that it was raining because he was like no it's not raining and I would just love to get on the I would love to get on the um trampoline I still feel like this is a little off so oh, it worked I had to cut and pray So we're on like the home scratch of cutting the paper. 
paper I printed um, I'm actually gonna use this one as a guide to cut this one because I don't have the cut lines on there making sure that it's going to cut correctly it's from the same shop so I figured it would cut correctly and then I have an issue with this one because I printed a a5 on a6 so that is gonna have to go in the shredder I hope it rains like more like a little bit of thunder so we can go to sleep For 2024 I just want to get serious about my diet again you know get rid of the baby weight um, baby girls at a, a good age now I'm no longer breastfeeding um, you know the only thing only difference you know with me is I can't um, physically exercise the way that I would love to um, my type of exercise would definitely definitely have to be modified. Checking it with fingers crossed. So it's punched. Then we have this one, and then this one for self-care. Both of these are A6, so I'm okay cutting these together. And this one will be the last one. I actually have... We actually have a party to go to, so we're gonna head over there in a little bit. Hopefully we don't have to be over there long. Yes. was way off Perfect. okay so um, I was saying we actually have a party to go to check on baby girl I think I need to change her one second okay baby girl is all settled and now 
finish the cuts. If you hear her, she's with her dad so that I can finish up here. one that I have to cut. Is it on this page? to eyeball it now because I cut the wrong wrong line at the wrong time. And the last one. This is my little A6 stack. I have more already in the planner and more that I need to print. And then here is my A5 stack. Oh, I didn't realize I have more A5 over here. two more but for the most part I have all my inserts for the most part all enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel you can also head over to the crafty one with two e's and i will see you all in my next video